Hello florists and flower lovers, and welcome to part 3 of my floral design livestream edit. This time I will be creating a big Dutch garden style tablescape design. We hope you enjoy. Oh, welcome. Hello, thank you for joining us. Good that you're here too. A little bit about this next piece. It's a big bowl, uh, one of those Oasis plastic bowls that we have. And I have put in Oasis Biodegradable, the 91% biodegradable new product from Oasis in here. I stack them a little bit because I want to create uh, a hill. Then I have bark on wire. This is hot glued on wire. And we use that very often in, uh, in Dutch gardens, for example, Dutch garden arrangements. And um, I'm gonna stack it like uh, roof tile wise. Then I have a fern over here that's coming out. Then I have a uh, pittosporum growing upwards. And then later we will have all sorts of groups. Then I have some other things that are pretty cool. Dried mushroom. Also, I think pretty much uh, in season. I have, I think, a box of moss over here. And all these pieces of moss are wired. This time my mother wired them for me, so thank you very much. I will use these in the design as well. Make things stick out like this. And then we go work our way up like that. Yeah, so let's see. I can use some asparagus, asparagus. Cetaceus, that's a lovely one. And I walked over to my to the side over there and I have all my greens there. And I think I totally forgot to use eucalyptus in the previous design, didn't I, in the bouquet. Oh well, there's always uh, next time. <laughs> so I have some asparagus coming out like this. And uh, let's see, where shall I put a mushroom? I put a mushroom over here and I use these now to cover the sides, so I don't want to see the plastic. So I make them go all the way over it, like this. Shoot, shoot, there we go. Wow, this is a big one. You can use that one too. Maybe this one first. This one goes a little bit like this. So we create this zigzagging pattern. And then I have some smaller ones. We put in the Gregor wire, as we call it, and then I put some hot glue on top so that it's very, very secure. And now I can even put them a little bit higher, like this in the design. The mushrooms nowadays, they always make me think about Francoise Wieks. We were together in Fleurimore and she made a beautiful dress and a headpiece headpiece with mushrooms and all sorts of beautiful botanicals. The eye catcher was really this huge mushroom that was sticking out that um, I think uh, Sue McCleary got for her. Now every time I see something cool with mushrooms I think ah, Francoise Weeks. Very nice lady. So there we go. Like uh, little steps up there. We have these greens lying here so might as well use them. Make them go through. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite dark but it will look lovely on the picture. Actually, I have another piece. So this is the other piece. And then I got this really cool branch. It's a big grapevine branch. I will put it somehow into the arrangement. I did plan it, but I have no idea what, what I planned originally. Maybe I do it like this. Yeah, looks just fine. And I forgot to do a thing with it. And that is to wire it. I'm, I'm starting to hide myself more and more now. Coming to the front a little bit. Angelica, you have a question, I see. Amy says, the Dutch garden design is always a classic and beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I also really love it. It's really a thing that I think my grandfather started to do in the 70s. So it is quite a classic. Of course, there were probably other Dutch people that were doing it too, but it just reminds me of my grandfather, so. Nice memories. And the Dutch garden style is very different than the other garden styles. So it's not like the romantic, well, I'm gonna make it a little bit more romantic maybe, but uh, it's not like the English garden style where it is uh, very much an abundance of maybe roses and such. So I put the wire on here. Angelica, another question. Kia says, love the branch. Wow. Right, it is, it's beautiful, it's really, Really, really lovely. I, I gathered some branches before that I thought I was going to use, but then I saw this branch and I was like, nah, it's going to be, it's going to be this one. Really lovely. And I was actually inspired by a design my mother made uh, at the IPM uh, a couple of years ago. Well, a couple of years ago, 2013. Huh? 
So, and normally, 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 I would tape a branch with uh, water resistant tape, then tape it around the plastic and then start making the design. But because we're doing a live stream, I wanted to surprise you a little bit with this branch. So it's probably not as secure as it should be, but we don't have to bring it to a hotel. If you have to bring this to another location, make sure that it is very stuck, that you can almost pick it up like this. So it needs a lot of tape, but you of course have to hide that tape again. You could maybe hot glue a little bit of um, moss on it if it's still visible somehow. But please, always safety first, technique first. These things are the most important things when creating flower arrangements. Now I know where my branch is, my big branch. Now I can work around it, put my other moss balls and such in the design. Yep, thank you, perfect. So these I will use for other items that we will get in this arrangement a little bit later. So moss balls. There we go. When you make Dutch garden arrangements, you should definitely use moss, I think. Molucella. Lovely, smells like honey, and it's nice and long. So we can use that length to our advantage. If you have any Molucella bottom parts like this left, don't throw it away, we can use it. Just use it as a bottom filler somewhere else. As long as you don't see the cut, it's, it's fine. Angelica. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Lise. Really glad that you are here with us too again. Like I said earlier, of course, but I like the energy you bring. Hopefully the borders will open up again. And then you, hopefully the borders will open up again and then you will be able to join Gregor's course. That would be awesome because I don't think she's here today, but Angela was always almost here. She's definitely going, she's coming from the UK. So you guys could meet. That I think that would be pretty funny if you guys would meet. Then a lower one over here, and then I use some bottom fillers over here. I won't throw it away, I will use it later. And over here I come a little bit, oh, no, no, no. I'd like to have a little bit of space between them. Yeah, there we go. Ionella is saying the biofoam. Doesn't it hurt the stems? Um, no, actually the biological foam, it's quite like the... Hello. It's quite like the foam that we have uh, already, the regular Oasis foam. But this one is just biodegradable, so they changed the recipe a little bit. Well, they did quite some research for that actually. And now it can be degradable for 91%. So still not 100%, but they're working on the recipe. But it's, it's just like any other uh, floral foam. It just, for me, it works the same. I don't have any issues with it. Some beautiful Cordelia. Make a nice group over here. There we go, I believe. Am I not mistaken? It's Cordelia, right? Cordelina, that's it. I always mispronounce that name. So one of this lovely Lysiantus. Let's put it over here. So there is kind of a front and a back right now. Obviously, I'd rather not have a front and a back because it should be just as nice from one side as it is on the other side. So maybe later I will turn the table around and then you can see the other side. And also, I can just come to the front a little bit and start working from the front. Hello, we're very close and personal now. So there we go. Place some materials a little bit lower to the front. This beautiful Lysiantus with the peach color. There we go. And again, also with this Dutch garden style, more or less, I like to play with the higher and lower groups, mix it up a little bit. Now we go all the way to the other side. This can come a little bit to the front. So there we go. Then Nareens. Um, these might come from the Witnerine. At the wholesaler I couldn't really see the brand, but the Wittnerine has very lovely Nareens. They're a floral fundamentals grower. Lovely people. Anytime I am able to see where it comes from, I really like to buy from my favorite growers, and those are all the floral fundamentals growers. Put some Astrantia in there. Astrantia to the back a little bit. But that also means we need to repeat it on the other side. So now the other way, as Justin Timberlake says, so make it go out. So it's growing like that already. So then we might as well just accentuate. Sorry, I'm showing you my back. It's not very polite. Yeah, we can have some Astrantia over there too. 
So I am just putting in some more Astrancia here and there. And now I have quite a lot of nice thin materials in there. So I think it's time to put in some bigger ones. So for example, this beautiful golden chrysanthemum somewhere a little bit lower in the arrangement, but not that it is interrupting anything else. And then a smaller one, I'd prefer to have it higher in the design. Let's place it over here. Shall I try to flip the design? Is that a wise idea? Yes, it is a wise idea. Axel, if you could come help me out a little bit. You're up for the challenge. This is gonna, either this will be a clickbait, everything falls to the ground uh, thing. You pick up that side and I pick up this side. And then we, turn, we walk around the table. You walk that direction, I walk this direction. You can pick it up a little bit. Yep. And one, two, three. <laughs> Oh, wait, pause. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now you can see the other side. Thank you very much, Ox. Because uh, I don't want to hide behind the thing all the time. We have Kees Tak saying, zie er goed uit. Hey Kees, goed dat je er ook bent, thanks. Dankjewel. Kees is also an old friend of the family, great florist. I put some celosia in there now. So beautiful celosia. I don't know if it's sharp on the screen, but it has this pinkish color that turns into a kind of uh, orange almost and then green a bigger one at the bottom and a smaller one at the top so we have a, that over there and it almost looks like a mushroom like an oyster mushroom so i think that fits with uh, with the rest of the stuff angelica linda nielsen is saying i must study the dutch garden style some more <laughs> i like it thank you thank you very much yeah i really like it too i think it gives you a lot of creative freedom. A lot of these designs that we study, like the, for example, the Biedermeier and stuff, it's just a shape and uh, this is how you have to do it and this is the rules. But with the Dutch garden style, you, get, you kind of get some rules, but then everything afterwards, you get a lot of freedom with it. So uh, you can make it a bit more structured, you can make it a bit more decorative, you can make it a little bit more vegetative. So that's what I really enjoy about the Dutch garden stuff. Some arachniotis to the front so that we have some green sticking out again over there. And then how about I make use of the beautiful Hedera Angelica cut for me. Still put that in somehow. Let's make this come out from here. And then we make some movement going from here to there. And then uh, we connect the arrangement a bit. She got a lot for me. Thank you. There we go have another one in some more other materials that we have yeah i picked them up oh they're behind me i am not a chaotic person at all very organized very structured that's what all of my friends say too so i have this cool pumpkin all of these pumpkins are edible but we can also use them in the design but uh it becomes like a fairy garden now with the pumpkins and everything so careful and I do two sticks, because if I do two sticks, it stays in balance. If I do just one, it wobbles around. Maybe I do three sticks, why not? Living on the edge. Make it come back over here. Okay, fills up nicely. Oh yeah, some other cool thing we have. These crazy uh, cucumbers. So this is a cucumber type, nice and prickly. They look kind of like chestnuts, very much in the season right now. Angelica. If you like the live stream, please click the like button. Oh yes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. If you're watching right now, you're logged in, give it a thumbs up. That helps us out a lot because then YouTube says, oh, people like this video. Maybe other people should see it too. Anyway, much appreciated that you're watching. And um, if you guys have any suggestions for what we should do next time, please also feel free to, uh, to tell us. Maybe there's some very specific design that you would love to see and that we maybe keep on forgetting to make, then feel free to do so. Some more of these cool cucumbers. Cucumbers have never been as cool as this. Let's put a little bit more flowers in it and then I think we are done. So this beautiful Sondersonia, which I love, let's put that in. Yeah, Angelica. Lisa Florista is saying, wow, thank you for doing that. Thank you and you're welcome. Thank you for joining us every time. I'm just really happy that you guys are coming every time, 
hanging out with us. It's really much appreciated. And especially if some people are staying up so late just to hang out with us and some people are waking up so early. I don't know, what, what time is it in Colorado when we started? Eight o'clock in the morning or something? I think that's pretty cool. We have some more materials. Let's, uh, let's make some swanky, I don't know if that's a word, swanky stuff hang out. It's a word, right? Swanky, no? Maybe I pronounce it like an idiot, but uh, I, I swear it's a word. So in Colorado, it was seven o'clock. Wow, that's really early. Thank you for waking up so early, Lisa. Actually, I forgot to put in some other cool things. So we have these cigars, which I did not harvest from outside because that would be illegal. I bought them uh, at the auction. I swear, it's not even a joke. I really bought them at the auction. Now it sounds really suspicious when I'm saying it, I realize. So these are cigar grass. Let's add a little bit of height to the arrangement. Let's go all the way to the top, to the front. I think that's cool. And then just one last thing, and then I swear I'm done. I see all these things I forgot to use now again. Zebra leaf grass, not that I'm using the leaf so much, but anyway. It's fun. Just the final pieces. Uh, let's go for here. Thank you everyone for watching again. We call it a day for now. So again, thank you very much. If you haven't already, well, a lot of you did already, but if you haven't already, please like the video. Um, if you were not a member yet of our channel, please subscribe. It is completely free. It just helps. So there's a little bell button on the side of the screen somewhere. If you click on the bell button, you get a notification whenever a new video comes out or when something is scheduled. And yeah, that helps our channel grow and it helps more content to come. So I think we all say bye-bye. Yes, oh yeah. So we do our little parade that we do always at the end. So bye everyone. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. If you made it this far into the video, we would like to sincerely thank you for your support. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more content like this. If you're looking for other ways to support our channel, we have an online shop called floraldesignsupplies.nl. Here we have anything you might need for floristry, all for a good price. For example, we have biodegradable oasis for sale. One brick for €1.45, but if you buy a whole box, you get a better price. Another item you may have seen us use often is the black stop wire. Very strong wire that you can use to create beautiful frames. Aside from those products, we have many, many more. So please have a look if you need anything. Again, thank you very much and see you in the next video.